Hey folks, I'm Josh Moeller for Vance Outdoors. Um, I'm out here today on the water and I just want to talk to you about my uh, top five baits uh, for spring fishing. You know, the weather's warming up out here and uh, a lot of people are hitting the water and these are the baits that I rely on early in the spring when I'm fishing, you know, for fun or for tournaments. And I'm just going to go through each of them with you and, and the rod setup that I use and, and how it works and why I use it. So um, the first one I, I'm going to go with, and, and it's probably one of my favorite baits, and you know, any time of the year is a just a standard stick bait. Um, what I really like about the stick bait is, is you can fish it a lot of different ways. You know, you can wacky rig it, you can Nico rig it, you can throw it on shaky head, um, or you can Texas rig it like I have here. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a great versatile bait. Um, you know, it's really great in the spring when these fish are moving up out of deeper water and moving up onto flats. You can take it, you can flip it around cover, uh, you know, around rock, uh, out in the grass. As the grass is beginning to come in and these fish are moving up in these spawning flats, and it's just, you know, like I said, it's very versatile. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, so it's probably the one bait, if I had to have a bait that, you know, I used, um, was only allowed to fish one bait or one, have one bait, this would be the bait that I would, I would choose just because of all the different things I can do with it. For me, with this, um, I fish it on a couple of different rods, a seven foot medium action with a fast tip um, and a seven one to one gear ratio. Um, the reason I fish it with that, uh, with that seven one gear ratio is I want to, I want a reel that's really going to pick up a lot of line. You know, when a fish hits that, if they're coming at me at the boat, uh, you know, I want to be able to catch up to that fish and really get a good hook set in them too. Um, the line I throw on this is, is just sunline structure, uh, usually 12, 14, or 16 pounds. It's really durable and it really is good around that, that structure and it's what it was designed for. So it doesn't get a lot of nicks in it, doesn't get cuts, you don't get weak spots in it. You know, and I just have a lot of confidence that when I throw that and I'm up there flipping that bait, that it's going to go, you know, if something gets a hold of it, I'm not gonna have to worry about breaking my line or anything like that. So that's kind of my uh, my stick worm setup and uh, we'll go on to the next one here. So my second favorite bait in the, during the spring is just your typical jig. I uh, really like the jig. Um, you know, these fish have, have been out in this deeper water and all, out, you know, during the winter. Um, and this is, you know, they're, they're starting to move up. They wanna eat, they're getting ready to spawn. So as they move up, they're gonna move up and they're gonna look for stuff um, a lot of cover that holds the sunlight because uh, those areas are going to warm up faster and, and a jig's a great bait. Uh, crawl, you know, crawls are coming out of hibernation and, and those fish really want to, you know, feed up, you know, obviously they're feeding up on, you know, shad, um, bait fish, stuff like that. But a crawl is, is a great bait in the spring. Um, this here for me is just a little finesse jig um, that you can buy down at Vance Outdoors uh, with a, a trailer on it just to kind of give it some action. But I really like, you know, when that's when that sun gets up and it starts to warm up, you know, those fish are looking for cover to, to get underneath and, and out of that sunlight, but they're trying to get where it's warm. It's a great bait. You can go down, flip it around wood, rock, stuff like that where you would normally find crawfish. It's going to get big bites. You'll catch a few small ones on it, but, you know, those bigger fish, they want they want a big meal and, and that gives them, you know, something to get. So uh, for me, it's, it's pretty simple set up, uh, much like the stick worm. I'm going to throw it on a seven, you know, seven to seven and a half medium uh, medium heavy with a fast action tip. Um, I will say with this, I do like to speed up the gear ratio a little bit and I'll go to an eight to one because um, I'm going to flip it up there. And a lot of times these fish, as soon as that hits, they're going to hit it on the fall. They're sitting under a log or something. As that bait drops down through the water, they're going to reach out and they're going to grab it and they're going to take off with it. So I want to make sure that I can catch up with them as fast as possible. So my third favorite bait of the spring is, is either a spinner bait or a bladed jig. And I really like these baits. Um, you know, like I said earlier, these fish are, they're coming up, they're wanting to eat. And, you know, they're, they're keying in on those, the, the shad, those bait fish. And it's a great bait that you can throw around cover. You can throw it around wood. You can throw it around rock. Um, you know, you can slow roll it, you know, burn it. Um, and you can cover a lot of water. And that's really important in the spring. You know, these, these fish are, they're gonna start setting up as they're getting ready to move in the spawning pockets. They're gonna follow the bait fish that are out there. And, you know, they wanna eat. So. One of the great things about throwing a spinner bait or um, a bladed jig, um, like a chatter bait or something like that, is you know you when those fish are, are out there, they're moving up or or over grass or, or wherever. You're you're going to be able to take this bait and you're going to be able to cover a lot of water until you find them. For me, this you know this is just a little half ounce um, finesse uh, bait. Uh, we sell it at the store and it, I just put a little swim bait trailer on the back end to give it a little more action. Um, and, you know, I'll go out, um, you know, obviously if I get up in, in shorter or shallower water, I'm going to look to throw something, you know, a three eighths, maybe even a quarter, you know, to keep that bait up off the bottom. And, but, you know, 
really right now those fish are anywhere you know mostly setting up on the points or out on rock piles and they're in five six seven foot of water so i want that little bit heavier and get that bait down there to where they're at so they can come up and you know um but definitely definitely a bait that you got to have tied on in the spring is a spinner bait or a chatter bait so um, the next one um for for me um is is some type of crankbait you know, and, and like we said, you know, they're, they're, these fish are wanting to eat and these, these moving baits or these reaction baits are, are great bait. This is uh, probably one of the, the, they've won more money on this bait in my opinion than probably a lot of baits, but it's a, just a Rappel DT6. Um, it's a great bait to cover water with. Um, one of the things I like about it, it's a balsal bait. So, you know, you can throw it into cover, you can run it, but you know, if it, if it gets hung up, it, it's really good about coming loose. So one of the things that I like uh, for a crankbait rod is I like throwing a glass rod. Um, this here is just a, you know, a six foot 10, uh, medium action rod. But the reason I like the glass rod, it's and it, it has a moderate fast tip. And the reason is it's, so it's going to have a lot more flex in that rod going down. Um, when those fish grab a hold of it, a lot of times, anytime you're throwing a, a, you know, a treble hook, a lot of times you're going to grab it and, you know, you feel that with a, a fast action or, or your typical rod. And by the time you feel it, you're going to pull and set that hook. And when you do, you're just pulling those, those treble hooks, you're going to pull them right out of their mouth. Um, the nice thing about the glass rod is when you, you know, when you're rolling down the bank and they hit it, a lot of times they've already got it in their mouth before you actually feel it. And it gives you a little more flex. Plus with the treble hooks on there, those fish, as they have those, those treble hooks in there and you're pulling with that fast next rod, it's putting a lot of pressure on those treble hooks. And you'll find early in the spring and, and really anytime you're fishing a crankbait or anything like that, um, they, you know, won't always get those hooks real good. So you may have, you know, you just may have them by one hook. And when they make those runs or they're, you know, they're fighting you, that rod's going to give you an extra advantage because it's going to give some give and take, you know, if you're trying to overpower them. So um, definitely like it on a glass rod, fish it on a six to one, six to four uh, size reel. You know, it's, um, I can speed it up. I can slow it down. It's a, a nice uh, kind of medium of the middle of the road um, or medium speed reel. Um, the other thing too is, is on my crankbaits, I fish a, uh, sunline, but I fish the sunline crank and I like that sunline crank because it's specifically designed for these kind of reaction baits. Same thing with, as we talk about the spinner bait, the chatter bait, they're exactly the same, you know, and it, that it's a fluorocarbon line, but it has some stretch to it. So really like it. Um, it has really great abrasion resistance. So you get around some of these places that maybe have zebra mussels or a lot of rocks or jagged edges. It holds up really well. Um, it's just a great all around line, you know, and depending on the size of the crankbait, if I start really small, you know, I'll, I'll throw it all the way down to 10 pound, you know, um, 10 pound, 12 pound, but I'll get up into, as we get into, you know, those big DT6s, DT8s in the summertime, I'll get up to throwing it on 16, 20 pound line. Um, but some, you know, so DT6 is great. A couple other uh, baits, you know, that I, that I really like um, is just a, a square bill. I mean, square bills are great. You, you get a rocky, you know, rip wrap down a bank or, you know, a rocky area, once again, around cover. Uh, you can just kind of roll up there and throw these baits and, and they get down there. They deflect really well off of it. This here is just a, a little homemade bossel bait. Um, I, I, I really like it because it, it doesn't hang up as bad in the trees and stuff like that. You know, um, you can, if it gets caught, you kind of give it some slack and it kind of floats up real quick. So uh, definitely like a little, a little square bill. And the other one um, is just a flat sided crankbait, especially when the water's a little cooler. It gets down there. It's got a little bit of a, you know, a different action to it and, and you know, um, Flat sides are just, you know, a lot of fish have been caught on a flat side there in the spring. So uh, definitely would tell you to check um, check those out as well. So my final favorite bait for the spring, and this is probably my one of my favorite ways to fish. And, and you know, it's a bait that's that's known for wintertime, springtime fishing and fall. I'll be honest, I, I fish it year round and, and I love it is is just a jerk bait. Um, this bait is, is is a lot of fun to fish. You know, you, you get out there and you can fish it deep off of the points and as these fish move up and, you know, you can make it imitate, you know, um, dying bait fish or, or bait fish that are moving real erratic. And um, this bait is probably my number one um, favorite way to fish. Um, what I love about this is you, you throw it out there and you're kind of snapping it around, you're imitating a bait fish and then all of a sudden it's just, you know, they'll grab it and I mean, just about yank, sometimes you about yank the rod out of your hand. Great bait for largemouth, smallmouth, um, you know, 
this right here is, is a smaller version. They come bigger. And the other thing I like about a jerk bait is, is you can buy them in all different sizes, shapes, you know, um, but you can cover a lot of different water columns with them. You know, usually in the spring when I first go out, uh, like I said, as those fish are, they've been in deeper water, they're moving up. You know, I'm gonna start out on the point and work my way in. So I might start with a bait like this that dives to seven to nine, and then I'll switch over to another jerk bait that's, you know, very similar to it. Um, for instance, this one here, and it only dives four feet, you know, and then I've got, you know, I'll even carry one in the boat if if they're over grass or if it's even up in two or three feet, um, you know, I'll, I'll fish those as well. So, uh, like I said, this, this is probably my favorite surge bait in the spring too. Um, to try to get those fish to bite because it's the thing I think that most imitates um, you know what those fish are feeding on and stuff uh, especially in open water really great around your rocky lakes um, for instance you know out on Allen Creek stuff like that where those fish haven't maybe moved up into the pockets or up into that cover and they're still out over that six seven eight foot of water this is the bait that um, that I'm gonna go with uh, day in and day out so um, some cool things about it too is, you know, to, like today it's, it's pretty nice out. So this is more of a translucent color. If we were out here on a day where it was overcast, I'd probably go more to a pure white or, or um, you know, and then depending on the water clarity, that'll play into it as well. You know, uh, I will tell you muddy stained water, not a great bait. Um, usually at the water, you know, I, I like at least, you know, a foot of visibility to be throwing this, um, out there, but you know, definitely around rock, uh, out over points over top of grass. It's, it's a, a great all around bait. And, and like I said, don't be afraid to throw it in the summer. I've caught a lot of nice small mouth in the summer on this bait. I've caught, you know, I've catch, caught them in the fall, large mouth as well. I mean, this is a bait that's always tied on the deck of my boat. So, and uh, you know, great bait. And I, I'd recommend, you know, if you, if you haven't ever fished a jerk bait, try it out, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So, hey guys, so appreciate you watching. Uh, those are my, basically my favorite baits in the spring. And, you know, like I said, most of those baits are available at Vance Outdoors. Uh, go down and see the guys down there, and I'm sure they'll be more than willing to help you out and get you set up as uh, the summer gets rolling and, and spring, you know, and help you get out on the water and catch more fish. So for Vance Outdoors, I'm Josh Moeller.